Welcome to Game Bender. We are playing the Stanley Parable. I heard as a game. The Stanley Parable. <laughs> sorry, Stanley Parable. I think we're all hey, sorry. so much faster this time. All right. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Real quick, I want to um, emphasize that this game has the most stupid achievements. P press start. Go to options. Go to extras. Achievement. Disable it. And now enable it. Achievement <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. <laughs> this couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. <laughs> Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little, <laughs> little bit, bit closer. closer. <laughs> now, now it's, it's even closer. closer. Here it comes. Here it comes. So that's one of the endings. Did the I game. Do? So that was the Stanley Parable. And um, <laughs> good night, everybody. Next time on Game Render. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go right ahead. Let's and, try and just do everything he tells us to do. I, I gotta be honest time. right now. I gotta be honest. The man has very commanding. It's like he knows things that I don't know. And he does. So I'm, I'm going. Hey, hey, ma'am. That's like spoiler territory. But I'm, I'm just gonna, it's you know, I'm gonna go right in. This is the. It is, and it is. I'm the one. I'm playing the game, and uh, it's the first time I'm playing it, so I don't know what's going to happen. All right. Go faster. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. The narrator in this game, I think his name is was Kevin something. Kevin Sorbo. No. Doesn't sound like him, so bro. So it's probably not him. Um, he has a really nice, smooth-sounding voice, yeah, and so I really like it. Oh! Uh, Look at that monitor. Go back. Yeah. Look what is this? Anal. Awaiting input. Close enough. Give it some input. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just gonna look around. Yeah, all right. I'm okay. just gonna shut my mouth. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Much appreciated. <laughs> Much obliged. Um, you can press all the doors and just gonna go right ahead. Not, not, none of them will open. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. Oh. He entered the door on his left. 
Did he though? Actually, he did. Let's try Best and left. do it the, the correct, uh, correct way. Let's oh, okay. try and follow the narrator this oh, time. Oh, okay. And next time we're gonna do the complete opposite every fucking okay. time. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it that way. Seems and then like, we're gonna go yeah, on an adventure. A single person here. It's I'm funny. It seemed like I was playing the game, but I guess I'm not. Stanley well, decided to go up to his boss's it's, office. It's a better experience this way. Find an oh, okay. There. For okay. multiple reasons. No, no, no. We're going to do it that way. We're going to try both ways. See what happens. Well, there are thousands of ways. I didn't we'll, hear we'll, what he said now. Though. Actually, you can open that door back there. Oh, let's see what that does. There's a broom closet. That's the, I think that's the only one you can actually open. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around <laughs> and got back on track. Actually, you, you can spend like hours in there and he's still going to just talk to you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, okay. just going to do what the man says. Mm -hmm. He seems to know his business. He's the narrator after all. I guess. You're not an executive. Bitch, I gotta pee. I waited in that room for like years. <laughs> years. Literally years. Literally Stepping possibly years. Manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. What, what, what was it? Uh, I think it's 2846 or 2545. Stanley I can't just remember. sat around twiddling it bit incredibly yeah. by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to import the correct <laughs> code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened. Though so you've obviously game. played this game before. I have. Okay. I, I haven't played all the endings because there are fucking a lot of them. Okay, so. Okay. I've played this for like 30, 40 minutes. Okay, okay. So there's a lot of endings I haven't seen. Yeah. This is a very. It has a very. I know it's the. It, this is a source engine, right? Yeah. Okay, it has a very portal feel to it. Yes. It is the uh, Portal the, 2 version of the engine they're using. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, but not just the engine. The, you know, the whole, you know, there you are alone in a large government kind of thing. Those and, kind of games are easy to do in the I Source know, engine. I know, so. I know they are. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Oh, I'm going to have to censor that. In his chest, as though he felt more free to what does it say? Himself. Yeah, the somebody played a game. Oh shit. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. It wouldn't. Okay, let's see what happens here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Very subtle. Okay. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought. Oh to shit! Did he have the strength what? to find out? Is that bad? Might be. I don't know. Okay. We're gonna figure out when we are done with this episode. <laughs> okay. Mm. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true Ooh. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control, never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? 
Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I am Professor Xavier and I'm walking into the And this is my favorite store in the Citadel. <laughs> This is one of those choices I've been reading well, so much he... about. That's fun. That was the ending? No. Okay. Well, it is, but... That was a ending? An ending? It's not done yet. Plans. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? That's what I'm asking you. No! Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command! Freedom was mere moments away! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. And that was the Stanley Parable. <laughs> that was a Stanley Parable, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, that was the game. Well, that was one version of the game. There yeah. is a lot of different endings to this game. So Lots of outcomes. You can do a lot of different things, and we will try to explore those things in the next episodes of uh, Game Bender. So uh, until next time. <laughs>